Well, hello, my friends, again, and today is our last day of sharing the nuggets that came from my son-in-law and daughter uh, when they were working on remodeling uh, this uh, this new RV. And um, today, it, it, this is a really cool one today, uh, because it happens to deal with the tools that you use. Brian, would you just kind of give me the background of how this nugget got started? So the background is, is whenever me and Sheree first started on working in here, Sheree was tasked with the job of painting all of the cabinet doors that you see here. Well, there was a lot of screws <laughs> to pull out. Well, it was, we were 30 minutes in and I turn around and Sheree has four screws out. <laughs> in my defense, they were really hard to get out. They were really old. They were stuck. They were stuck. So I was, My defense. I was just like, why is it taking her so long to get these screws out? Then I noticed she's, she's using a handheld screwdriver. I said, no, babe, you need to use the drill. So I handed her to the drill. And then the next 30 minutes, I turned around, all the doors are out. She had everything. All the screws were out. So anyway, we were just from, we took from that is if you use the tools that God has given you, it makes your life a lot easier. Oh yeah, you gotta have the right tools for the job. You gotta have the right tools <laughs> yeah. for the job. That's right. That's right. So, Cherie, you were you were struggling and struggling. I was struggling. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were hard to get out. I, well, I don't you did know. A good okay. job. I don't know anything about building or unscrewing screws. So I just found a screwdriver. I mean, I was proud of myself for finding yeah. a screwdriver. Well, she she did it then, but she knows now. I know now. Yeah. yeah so, so, so another point would be. Like, I wouldn't have known the difference. I'd have just yeah. gone for And so, like, other people, sometimes we need for them to help us with tools we do not yeah. know about. That's true. Correct. You know, yeah. pretty good. And, 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 you know, um, and you know what? She could have said, no, I want to continue using yeah. the screwdriver. True. But this she was working, open to try something new. Yeah. So it was working. It was just taking a lot longer. Time, yeah. Okay. Exactly. So uh, God gives each of us gifts and tools uh, to use, and we need to use them. You know, I was thinking when you told me that story, too, because I had been talking some about the Holy Spirit in, in times past, some of the past devotions, but but uh, the power tool. You used a power tool, and she was using just a manual tool, right. and and that's kind of like, you know, the Holy Spirit's given to us to give us power, and it's not say, to say that if you don't have the Holy Spirit, or the baptism, shall I say, uh, of the Holy Spirit that we described in Acts chapter 2, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get where God wants you to get, but it's a lot easier to get there when you've got the power working behind you. But so there's a lot of little nuggets coming from Cherie, you, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, that, that's yeah. good. And, God will and you know what? You. I can't. I can't. Uh, I don't have the gifts that you have. I can try to do things, but I do have gifts, and I need to use the gifts that I do have. And, uh, and, and I think all of us need to use the gifts that we are given. You know, Sheree is a videographer and she, uh, videos and a photographer also, uh, weddings and so on. I couldn't do that because I don't have, I don't see that. And you know, I think you guys saw something in this, in this vehicle. Uh, maybe it's because of the gifts that you have that, that and I, I will didn't. say that this is his gift. Okay. <laughs> it's not mine. I can help. But it is. She did a great job of helping. His gift. So, yeah. so. Anybody else have any any principles well, before we leave this? I was going to say that you know she could have, like I said, she could have just said no. I don't want to use the power drill. Uh, I, I'd rather use this. But I mean, she could have continued doing that. But it took her a lot longer to take the screws out. So it was, right. it was, for for me, that's a scripture I would pull from that was lean not on your own understanding. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. people want to lean on their own understanding from what they know. What, what they, they don't want to admit that. I, there may be a better I, there way. There may be a better way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's good. Be open to a better way. So God yes. will equip you with the tools you need for whatever job He's called you to do, but you got to be open and willing to use those tools and not try to do everything your that's own right. way. Right. And take advice from others. <laughs> yes. Take <laughs> advice from him and we're going to get Or flipping one. Oh, it's hard taking advice it's from him. He <laughs> had a few little spats. But you're smiling today. Really so. That's right. Well, right. Right. well, listen, <laughs> we want to thank you for joining us. And again, I. I um, uh, thank my daughter-in-law and, and my daughter and son-in-law <laughs> yes, so for uh, for helping us. And oh, oh, and I want to add also their uh, Brian's parents. Yes, you yes, know what? yes. That my parents out, helped. They jumped right in. Thank in fact, yeah. in fact, really we have a name a for lot. this vehicle. Oh, yes, so may I tell it? Yes. So sorry. we were talking with Mindy, Brian's mom, and his dad Daryl yesterday, and Bryn, um, Mindy just said. Uh, a name, and I'm like, I like it. We're gonna it's name so it that. So it was 
So mobile. What do y'all think? The okay. soul mobile. So mobile. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our soul mobile. Soul mobile. On a mission to reach souls for Jesus, for to encourage Jesus. them, and to tell them about Jesus. And, and we ask you that you will continue to pray for us, that God will lead us and guide us and protect us uh, as we travel in our soul mobile. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We will see you back tomorrow. Wait, wait. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, I forgot wait. something. Oh, yeah. Um, we actually have one more nugget. Oh, <laughs> one, more nugget. one more nugget. Stick one with nugget. us. Don't leave. Yeah. One more nugget. So, actually, it's on my phone. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. All right. You hang with us just a moment. Okay. We're... So, actually, this is not really like a life lesson moment or okay. nugget, but this is something we wrote for you guys. Oh. <laughs> for your, for your new... I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> For your new journeys and adventures and just in honor of new life seasons. Okay? Okay. 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 So, mom and dad. <laughs> Welcome to your new and improved motor home where you'll laugh and you'll love, you'll explore and you'll roam. Aww. New seasons, new journeys, new places to see. You just never know where your next stop might be. The days may get tough and the roads might be long, but keep your head up and be sure to stay strong. We know God is with you every step of the way. He's proving his faithfulness more every day. So cheers to the many adventures ahead. You'll be making memories like mom always said. <laughs> and hang on tight, because the ride may get wild. Because soon you'll be welcoming a brand new grandchild. What? What? Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. No. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, oh folks. Y'all just oh found out some wonderful news. Uh, well, oh we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate a little bit. Love y'all. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs>